Hi, Nilo Shima. Well, hello, everyone. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing good. What about you, Rohit? I'm doing good. So, thanks, uh, Nilo Shima, for joining us. Uh, I know there was some uh, bit of like uh, less of coordination. Yeah. <laughs> initially. Yeah. But still, we got you. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, from where uh, you have joined for this uh, session? Is it from Gurgaon? Yes, from Gurgaon. Okay. Great. So awesome. Uh, Niloshima, going further, you can uh, give a quick introduction about yourself, or what you're doing, mm -hmm. and what your talk is going to be about. Meanwhile, you mm -hmm. can share your screen so that I can put it on the screen. Okay. Let me know when you are able to see. Yeah, it's there. Okay. It's like. Okay, fine. So guys, um, thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to talk about, uh, okay, Rohit, is it is it in presenter mode? Um, uh, yes, okay, slide. Like, fair enough. So yeah. thank you so much, guys. I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, understanding Azure batch services today. And uh, uh, in just 15 minutes, you know, it will be a little tough for me, but I'll, you know, try to give you uh, more and more, uh, you know, what I can give you. So the introduction is part of this, you know, presentation. So I don't oh, want to, you know, waste time in my introduction. So let's, let's, you know, let's, let's move ahead. So this is me. Um, I'm basically a cloud architect and I'm a mentor, I'm a blogger and uh, I'm a speaker and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a developer by choice. It's been 12 years, in, you know, in the industry and I've been working with Microsoft technologies. I have been, uh, you know, I have, I've been part of um, uh, some big brands and some, you know, some small uh, organization startups as well. Uh, if you want to reach me, you can you know you can write me email on niloshima at uh, brewingcoach.com and you can Google me. Uh, I'm very easily to find. So yeah, that's that's pretty much all about me. Um, so we are going to talk about a uh, couple of things today. We'll be talking talking about was what is Azure Batch and what are the core services Azure Batch is offering. Then we'll talk about a little bit talk about you know what is the hosting and processing architecture of Azure Batch and then we'll do a quick demo. Uh, using Azure Portal, so uh, Azure Batch. Let's let's understand. We all know that why why do you we want to move to cloud? Uh, the major goal of moving to cloud is more or less uh, you know a cost saving, uh, uh, operation expenses over capital expenses. There, Azure Batch services comes into picture if you would like to run uh, you know a, a huge job, a huge workload, right? So. Uh, you can upload up, upload your bad jobs into cloud, and uh, you don't have to worry about the you know the resource uh, management of that particular job because Azure will take care of that job for you. So let's understand what is a bad job, a job that needs to be rerun multiple times, you know, on maybe a different pieces of data or same sort of data, same set of data can be a good example of you know bad jobs. So uh, it, it's like a simulation, right? So if, if, we, if we want, let's say if you wanted to run a weather prediction or uh, probably, you know, rendering a movie, lots of identical tasks uh, are there that can be running and you know, running in as parallel, right? So, so we can consider those jobs that, uh, you know, batch jobs. So Microsoft will uh, basically uh, manage uh, and create, Microsoft Azure will create, you know, the VMs for us. Uh, you know, for that particular uh, specific, you know, 100 number of tasks, it, the resource allocation will be done by uh, Microsoft Azure. So instead of having a single VM that takes, let's say, 48 hours to, you know, to do a simulation and render a result, uh, well, uh, then, you know, you can have Azure Batch service and have that done in parallel, perhaps probably in an hour or two, you know, to have the answer instead. So there are a couple of Things which we, you know, which we need to understand uh, while starting, uh, you know, uh, Azure Batch services. So uh, there are uh, Azure Batch services are, you know, they offer uh, ba these basically these three uh, features to us, right? Uh, Azure Azure uh, does the resource management for us, right? So by resource management, what I mean uh, here is that. Azure is going to be, you know, doing our node management, you know, in our pools, we have to create pools and then there will be a couple of nodes which will be responsible for executing that particular job. The auto scaling of that particular, uh, you know, uh, nodes and that pool uh, is also managed by, you know, Azure. As in when, you know, it is required, uh, 
for number of nodes in the pool right so we uh, azure will take care if if we would like if if there is a job that is taking like 10 minutes azure uh, we can we can also assign low priority nodes right so uh, by by saying by you know when i'm saying that assigning low priority node what i mean here is that you get the option not each and every node will be your low priority node but you get the option you know to use low priority node and uh, when it will suit your workload so why would you use low priority node low priority new loads you know probably you'll be using if if you don't if you don't have a definite sort of you know time frame in which you want that particular simulation that particular particular batch job to run right and apart from it under resource management uh, you can you know if you would like to work with an application you can basically assign that particular application to you know to that particular pool and task right and <clears throat> uh then then you know then then this uh, uh azure batch services it helps us in process management as well right what i mean by process management here uh what what i mean by process management here is basically it will it will do uh you know jobs and task management for us right so the jobs whatever jobs we will be creating in azure batch will be part of that whole process and uh, you know we can create multiple tasks in that particular job as well right it will also manage task dependencies for us where you know we are going to uh, we are going to uh, uh, we are going to uh, you know plug in plug and play the dependencies and azure batch will take care of the execution and we can also run multiple instances of of that particular task right so uh, it, it is basically a way to you know uh, if you have like chunk of data to process let's say 100 files to process you can you can basically you know uh, go ahead and uh, do that process management can be done that process management can be done you know via uh, this uh, azure will manage right the third portion of this uh, this interesting feature is basically the resource and process management what i mean by resource and process management is that uh, you know azure will give you a beautiful uh, you know uh, monitoring uh, portal within the azure portal as well and then you can also you know there is a tool called batch explorer you can install it locally and see you know how it how it is basically helping you i'm going to quickly show you the image how it looks and i'll i'll quickly show you the you know the batch a uh, batch explorer on my machine which is running and you can you can also you know uh, use uh, you know resource and monitoring uh you know that process monitoring for application insights right and uh, there are couple of metrics available which are you know available through the api uh, they are rest based uh, you know uh, apis they are dot, there are dotnet dotnet based api then azure cli then you know azure powershell is also there if you would like to you know run your uh, commands on over the you know over, over you know on the windows powershell so apart from it let's let uh, so like i like i've discussed right these are the these are the portion which we which which we have covered in a uh, resource management it will, it will do resource management for it will also scalable then we get to have low priority nodes if we if we if you want to save the cost and then it is also you know it, it also manage the application infrastructure for us uh, process management have uh, jobs and task management and the task dependencies and we get to have multi instances task right and uh, this is all about uh, resource and uh, process monitoring right so you uh, like i've said we have azure portal monitoring we have batch explorer monitoring we can we can easily use the application insights portion which is on the you know right bar of the azure portal you can just see there there's an insight uh, thing there and then there are a couple of metrics available which are available through you know rest dot net code azure cli and uh, you know so on and so forth so this is how you know your your portal monitoring will look like so you can see right i there are a couple of jobs which are running these these uh, you know these squares are the nodes which are anyways running in the portal you can we can start the task we can you know upload the application packages here with this and and this you know this this will give you an idea that what and all nodes are running what and all nodes are you know how many nodes are you know idle or basically uh, uh, starting or probably rebooting so these nodes are basically your compute uh, you know compute power right there are It, it may be a couple of containers. It may be a couple of virtual machines. So uh, batch also support Docker. That's that's one more interesting thing. This is uh, this is you know this uh, this image gives you the idea how can you monitor the the particular you know task in term of you know I have a pool. Let's say I have a job. I have a I have a pool. 
in that pool i have a job and then you know in that particular job there is there is couple of tasks which are supposed to run right this is how this is how you will see that okay out of 100 80 tasks are you know active 20 are you know are already running as of now no task has been failed or probably succeeded right so this is how this is how your uh, as a portal monitoring will look so this is this is a you know desktop based tool it, it tool it is available for mac it is available for windows as well as linux you can use this batch explorer tool for monitoring your job so what uh, i'll i'll quickly show you how does it look um basically you know it's 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 a tool where you know you can you have to select your storage account your batch account and then you know you will be you you'll quickly be able to you know see how how many nodes are running up and what and all is happening right so let's say if i'm if i'm if i'm creating this azure batch and i i go to job so this is how you know it will look as of now i have no jobs running but this is this is the active job and this is the you know this is the job schedule if i want to schedule any job i can just go ahead and schedule it from here uh this is the pool which i have created so uh, these many you know uh, these many tasks have errors in in you know in that in the execution of that particular job i have also couple of package available there i have i have basically uploaded an you know uh, an exe file which is called polyray so this is how you know your you can uh, you're going to you know manage your uh, the whole uh, you know the, the whole monitoring process on your desktop itself right so having said that Uh, like like i have mentioned right uh, how how does it look right this is this is how this is how it is supposed to be you know it is it is it, it will be it will look right so this is how you know you're going to see and check how how your uh, you know desktop application is going to run. and this is uh, the best part about this is that you know this is an open source project right so like i have shown you that in the you know in the in the, in the batch explorer screen that um, you get a lot of matrices here you get You 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 can you know you can you can check what are the number of failed tasks if there are any failed tasks in that particular event. This is the portion you know you will sign in with your subscription and then uh, to use that particular Azure Batch service you have to have a Azure Batch account and a storage account associated to it. So this is basically your uh, Batch accounts and you know you 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 have to select that Batch account and you will be able to see these couple of matrices right. So that's that's another thing. Uh, you know uh, move ahead and talk about the hosting architecture right how does how does it work when when you have to host uh, a, you know your your uh, batch code probably or your application right so it's basically you know work in, in the you know in the in the azure world you have to have a subscription then you have to be you, you, resource group is something which is mandatory resource group is basically a logical you know a logical container sort of in a relationship in which you can you know create resources so uh, you have you get to have a resource uh, you know group and then you have a couple of batch account right under that batch account you have pools so what are pools pools are basically you know the nodes on uh, you know in pools are basically you are you are give you are uh, giving the azure this you know this information that i have i have so many you know so, so and so number of uh, nodes available you can you can just pick anything from there right so this is then you have to have your applications first you know for for using those your applications you you can probably you know zip it in you know a zip file and you know you can have to you just zip your exe and you know upload it over the azure portal you get to use a certificate as well and uh, for all this thing there are two things which are mandatory under that particular resource group is that you have to have a batch account and you have to have a storage account storage account is basically required for you know processing your input and output file so let's say if i have to render an image i have to have a storage account where i'll be uploading my image and in that uh, you know storage account batch when whenever the batch uh, process is executed either successfully or probably failed uh, it will going to you know uh, switch you know pass on the output there right so this is how this is how the hosting is done in the azure batch service now uh, let's Let's try and quickly understand uh, what is the processing architecture. How does it process basically? So I have I have a batch account. I have an application. Like I have told you, right? That I have an exe file. You have to zip your exe file, and then you have to create a pool. And in that particular pool, you will be creating a couple of jobs, right? And then with the help of that, you know, a job can have multiple tasks. That I have to create. 
जैसे आई हैव अ पूल एबीसी एंड आई लाइक बी क्रिएटिंग एक्स वाई जी ए जॉब देन आई कैन यू नो क्रिएट टास्क वन टास्क टू टास्क थ्री टास्क सॉरी अप टू हंड्रेड राइट ए नंबर ऑफ टास्क आई कैन क्रिएट राइट एंड इन so uh, this will be you know this will this will this will be your infra which you will be creating you will be assigning a couple of properties like uh, what what is the node count you want what is the region you want and so on and so forth post that you'll you'll have to have in storage account like I, like i've already mentioned in that particular storage account you'll have resources file your input files will be there and your output files will be there and then if you would like to use some you know sql server or uh, cosmos db some other storage service you can use that as well This is how basically it process. Batch account uh, goes, uh, you know, as you, uh, when you are signing in your batch account, you have uh, Azure will look up for your, you know, for for the applications which you would like to, you know, use. Then it will look up for the pool. Then it will look up for the job. And in, in that particular job, whatever task you have created, let's say if you have created task one to task ten, it will start working on that. The moment you are creating the task, it will assign that particular task to a particular node, and then that particular node. Uh, your whole process will start, you know, executing. So that's um, there are a couple of limits and quotas which are probably, you know, uh, uh, or basically a part of which comes like in, in a whole package. So uh, there, there is uh, as of now, you know, there are uh, per batch accounts per region per subscription is uh, one to three. You can have maximum fifty, you know, default of fifty, you know, fifty batch accounts. Uh, as of now, dedicated codes uh, per batch account, right? Codes is basically your your CPU, your compute nodes. I'm talking about compute nodes here. You can have the default is you know 90 to 900. The maximum is still unspecified. You can go like a number of a number of you know accounts if you are just willing to pay, right? If you have such a, such uh, you know such priorities uh, job which you would like to run rather than running it on on premises, you would like to run in cloud. So if you are willing to pay, pay as you go. You can create a number of uh, you know. dedicated batch uh, cores uh, per batch account then you can also create low priority with the 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 default is basically 10 to 100 it is also unspecified you can create a number of no low, low priority nodes and um, you know uh, let's talk about active jobs and job schedules per batch account you can basically you know have uh, something in between 100 to 300 and the maximum is 1000 um and uh, you know uh, this is there is also a quota on bas pools basically so pools per batch account has to be you know uh, maximum 500 right and the default is close to 20 so the the minimum the minimum nodes which are which let's say if i've created a pool so the minimum cores which i get is like 20 right i have i've already shown you in that uh, you know in that particular diagram that there are there, there are like 20 boxes those are square things right those are basically your your you know your cores uh these things can also be changed so you have just have to you know go ahead and check this url it will you know it will give you the uh, the the broader uh, you know idea how to change it and you know what and all you need to done some configuration setting if, if at all if you are uh, you know in some enterprise sort of agreement it will it will you know it will help you to quickly you know just go ahead and uh, talk to your uh, talk to your cloud provider especially in in, in this case azure so there are other uh, you know azure batch uh, limits as well so uh, you know concurrent tasks per compute nodes is has to be you know whatever node cores you have multiplied by 4 so let's say if i have 20 node cores i can have uh, uh, what 4 into 80 eight that, that is i can have 80 concurrent task nodes and this is 80 is a huge count right i can have a, in in a particular batch account i can have 20 applications right and i can i can basically execute those 20 applications simultaneously i can have 40 you know uh, 40 application pip packages per application right and the maximum task lifetime is is close to 180 days right so i can i can basically run a, a run a process uh, which is like uh, close to 3 months right so this is this 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 is very flexible, and you can definitely you know go ahead and change. This is basically I have a pay as you go uh, subscription, so I'm I'm just telling you in terms of that, right? So you can just if you have an enterprise uh, sort of agreement, you can just go ahead and talk to Azure folks, and they they'll probably you know help you with this how to you know how to uh, maximize your uh, task life life time, right? And uh, and this computer nodes, you know, you have you can like you know inter node communication. 
uh, what if, if you are using a, a pool which has internode communication you can have 100 compute nodes 100 compute nodes it's it's a huge a huge huge number right and by compute nodes what i'm saying it's that it can be 100 virtual machine it can be 100 containers or some virtual machine some containers so this is how this is how basically uh, you can you know manipulate the resources and you don't have to manage each and every you know minute details there right so let me quickly show you uh, i'm not sure if, if i'll have the time to you know quickly you know uh, go ahead and create everything but i'll i'll just quickly show you that this is this is basically a, a resource group which i have created in my azure account and uh, so i have i have basically you know created this azure uh, resource group in west us and under this resource group i have couple of you know accounts right so this is this is the batch account as you are able to see, this is the batch account. This is the storage account, right? So let's let's see what and all properties we can have in batch account, right? So uh, I, I it has basically, you know, I have I have also uh, it is basically you know region based. I have created it in East US, right? And uh, uh, my subscription details, the subscription ID. This is this is basically the resource group, and this is the matrices, you know, which I have, which I was talking about. Uh, I can I can see the CPU per minutes. I can see fail task. I can see the task states and then the node states as well, right? Quickly, if you know, if we quickly you know move ahead inside, uh, I have I have basically this application which I have already you know have to go ahead and select application and basically just add it, right? So this is how uh, like you are able to see, right? I can add up to twenty application. As of now, I have just used this polyray only, right? Then in in this particular uh, batch account, I have a couple of pool created, so. Um, this is a pool which I have created, you know, uh, as of now, this allocation state is steady, but you can see, right? So uh, this is this is what, you know, I was talking about. This is the node heat map, right? So as of now, uh, uh, probably, you know, there are four uh, four nodes which, which have already started, but the task has been failed, right? So this is how, this is how, you know, you have, you're going to, you know, create. And this is, uh, so like I have told you, right? Pool is basically, you know, I'll, I'll uh, your compute nodes, right? Your collection of compute nodes, right? So this is, I have 20 vCPUs, I have 20 dedicated nodes, and I do not have any, you know, low priority. I can also, you know, go ahead and uh, make this true. So, but but I don't need because I was just creating it for demo purpose. And then this is the pool ID, and it is associated to a batch account. And you can see just the operating system, right? I'm running it on Windows Server 2019. So. That's this is the standard A1 type of you know VM which is more or less like one of 1.8 gigs of memory, one CPU core, right? So that's that's there. Apart from it, you know, in that particular uh, render pool, I have a couple of nodes, right? So uh, this is this is my you know this these are these are the list of you know nodes which I have been I have created. I have you know assigned tasks to them. Let's quickly go ahead and see the uh, storage account, but in all data I have in that storage account, right? So I have created this. Uh, this Azure uh, batch storage account, and in that particular batch batch storage account, you know, again, it has to be it has to be you know uh, in the same region. It's again East US, same resource group. It's a standard it's a standard performance. Access tier is hot. I do not need any any replication strategy as of now. Else, I could have chosen you know probably uh, ZRS, GRS. Uh, this is basically you know, depending upon your needs, right? And the you know the account is uh, general purpose V2, right? So let's go to containers and see. I have basically created you know two uh, two two containers. This is demo scene. This is demo frames. Demo scene has my input input files, and you know you can see like I have I have hundred uh, hundred of files here uploaded, and I just want to you know execute execute those. I can I can add n. So this is. This is the place, you know. This 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 storage account is the place from which from where you know my my Azure Batch account will access the information, right? So let's say if this is this 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 can this can work as an you know uh, uh, input input directory, and then I can again probably you know go ahead and use this like as, as an output directory, right? So sorry, that's how. Sorry to interrupt you, uh, Niloshima. Uh, I think we are running a bit. Yeah. Short of time. Yeah. I'm 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 done. Okay. Like I'll take five more minutes and then I'm sure. done, right? So this is this is this is you know I, that is the reason I, I just didn't you know show the demo. Okay. Let me quickly you know just just uh, wrap it up. So you know this is how uh, you know you'll, you you can also you know do uh, I was I was talking about insights so you can just go ahead and see it's, it's still in preview. 
So, you know, just you have to see what in all insights are available, what in all matrices are there, right? So we can just go ahead and see other and batch account and it, it will, you know, show you whatever uh, insights it can. You can also have diagnostic seconds, you know, settings and so on and so forth, right? So that's it, guys. I think that that I'm, I'm more or less done.